Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Talk, back into the video today, and today we're going to be talking about a potential signing for the Philadelphia 76ers, as I think with everything that has gone down in the last about 10 days in the NBA, I think most likely the Philadelphia 76ers will be extremely targeting Raptors point guard Fred Van Vliet and NBA free agency that it were, well, it's... It's over 12 o'clock, so now we're a month away from free agency. It is officially June 1st, guys. Uh, welcome to June. Um, well, if you live in California, I guess you're not at June yet. Uh, but here in Texas, it is almost 1 o'clock, so uh, it is June. So free agency starts July 1st. Or Technically, I think negotiators, teams can talk on June 30th, but I think real free agency doesn't start till July july 1st so free agency is one month away and with free agency being a month one month away i think with the sixers you know with uh, what uh, two weeks ago 10 days i think it was 10 days about about a week or 10 days ago it was it was reported by bleach report that nba executives are saying they expect james harden to sign with the houston rockets and leave the philadelphia 76ers and i think the Philadelphia 76ers James Harden saga was really put to bed when when really when the when the Raptors hired sorry when the when the Sixers hired Nick Nurse I I, I know James I just don't think Nick Nurse is the type of coach that Harden really you know Harden there's a, there's there's I, I don't think Nick Nurse is the type of coach that would coach Harden I don't know I just that's the feeling I get the feeling I get is they wouldn't really mesh together, in my opinion. Um, I don't think it would work between the two of them. And Harden, there are certain guys he likes. I think, apparently, Harden wanted Mike D'Antoni. I think that was one of the reasons why Daryl Morey kind of interviewed Mike D'Antoni. And I also probably, I know another I know another reason. A lot of people thought, you know, when the, when the Sixers interviewed Mike D'Antoni, that it was mainly because of James, but I think a lot of people had to kind of remember, hey man, Daryl Morey and Mike D'Antoni, they worked with each other for a while. They worked with each other for, what, four years? So he knew Mike D'Antoni really well. Mike D'Antoni knew Daryl really well. So I think really there was, you know, Daryl was, he kind of knew he wasn't going to hire Mike, but he knew that he it would be, you know, with his history as a head coach, it would probably be good to, you know, um, interview him, and honestly, in my opinion, that's a really good GM right there. Even though he knew he probably wasn't going to be the guy to 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 get the job for the Philadelphia 76ers. I do think the Nick Nurse hire was an unbelievable hire. I really do. Uh, he's an amazing defensive coach. He's a really good leader. He's just a really good coach in general, and I think he's a guy Joel Embiid really likes. Joel Embiid, Joel Joel improves and hit uh, approves of him. Um, and I think it's going to be a great fit for Philadelphia, but I do not see James Harden returning with Nick, Nur- Nick Nurse becoming becoming the head coach for the 76ers. And I also think James Harden is intent on coming back to my Houston, my favorite team, the Houston Rockets. So in that case, I do not see the 76ers re-signing James Harden. But in that case, you want your, your MVP, your superstar to be happy in Joel Embiid. And you're gonna have, if you if you can afford the money to re-sign James Harden, you could afford the money to go pay somebody else. That is way cheaper, and that is Fred Van Vliet. Averaged 19 points per game last season with seven assists. He is, if not a two-time All Star, a one-time All Star uh, for the Toronto Raptors. Rarely turns the ball over. An amazing defense player, averaging two uh, two steals per game. Really good defender for a guard, and would really add in. A really good piece for the for the Philadelphia 76ers. The guard duo of Van Vliet and Tyrese Maxey in that starting lineup for Philadelphia. And I think Van Vliet and Joel Embiid would also have a lot of chemistry. Also, Van Vliet knows Nurse really well. Was his coach from 2018 to 19 to this season. So he coached him for four seasons. Or wait, more than four seasons? Uh, 2018-19 season. Uh, then the 1920 season, which throughout the bubble, 2021, that's three seasons. 
five seasons. So he coached him for four years and five seasons, or or I guess five, I guess five years as well. Coached him for f- five years and five seasons, and he developed. I think in the five five seasons, Nurse was there. Van Vliet has came a long way, um, and you know he's kind of coming off the bench for a little bit. Now he's turned turned into this you know starting point guard, all star, multiple time all star. He's either a one time or two time all star. I think he's won, but he might. I think he's might have been selected to the all star game twice. I think Philadelphia to add him in. Nurse knows Van Vliet well. That's going to be one of the reasons why Van Vliet would want to come in. It's a winning organization with Van Vliet. Uh, and B and Maxi is the big three. Then they have other players like Ty- I mean, like Tobias Harris on that team. They're a good team. Um, last year Philly was third in the East. I don't. I think. I think Philly probably with adding in Van Vliet and Nick Nurse. I think Philly would probably be either the five or the four seed in in the East most likely. I think it, the big thing. I think the two th- biggest factors for Philly if they add in. Fred Van Vliet um, to this team, and that's what the roster looks like. That's what the starting lineup looks like with seeding is, number one, if Joel Embiid is healthy for most of the year, and number two, does Tyrese Maxey take the big step he needs to take? I think with James Harden most likely leaving, Tyree, yes, Van, adding in Van Vliet, he's going to be a guy who averages around 20 to 22 points per game on that team. But they're they want Max if 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 Harden's gone and they're adding in Van Vliet who's good but I don't think as good as Harden, um, they're gonna want Maxi to step up and turn into maybe an you know an All Star type player. I don't, I don't, I'm not saying Maxi will become an All Star. Maybe at one, at some point Tyrese Maxi can be an All Star, but they're gonna want him to turn into an All Star type player. Maybe not an actual All Star, but an All Star type player. And I can definitely see Tyrese Maxey taking the jump. If Tyrese Maxey takes the right jump, Van Vliet, you know, fits well with that Philly team and it beats healthy and playing MVP basketball, Philly could maybe be higher than a, a five to four seed in the Eastern Conference. It would be an amazing size signing for Van Vliet. Um, he fits Nick Nurse's system. You know, Van Vliet and Nurse had a you know a great relationship in Toronto. Nurse is a great defensive coach. Van Vliet's a great defensive guard. Um, Nurse is going to want to upgrade the defense. And that's another reason why I think P.J. Tucker is going to stay. you got a lineup of Van Vliet and P.J. Tucker, two really good defenders. Joel Embiid's a really solid defender as well. Tobias Harris, not so much, but Max, he's also a decent defender for a guard as well. Um, not that bad of a defensive lineup for this Philadelphia 76ers with Nick Nurse as the head coach. I think if Van Vliet comes to the Philadelphia 76ers, which I think that probably has to be the... I wouldn't say that's the number one... I wouldn't say that's the number one favorite place for, for Van Vliet to go. I think that's probably number two. I think right now the most likely place for Van Vliet to go is probably the Los Angeles Lakers because this new rumor of a sign and trade with D'Angelo Russell and Fred Van Vliet. Um, but, it's the, you know, Toronto... Um, I don't know if Toronto, if Van Vliet went to Philly, if that would have to be a sign and trade. I don't know who would go over in a sign and trade. I mean, would would I would it would it have to be Tobias Harris? Maybe I don't know. Um, I don't know what that looks like, but you know, um, it's going to be interesting. I think Van Vliet would be a hell of addition to that Philly team, but I do think the number one candidate to land Van Vliet right now, right now, this second, June first. A month away from free agency, I think the number one candidate to land Van Vliet right now has to be the Los Angeles Lakers. But I think number two and right up the corner, for, uh, right up the, the Lakers alley is the Philadelphia 76ers. Number one, needing the number one reason to go there, needing to replace James Harden, getting a big role, playing with the MVP and Joel Embiid, and then re- reuniting with your head coach of five seasons. That's another reason. It'd be a good signing for the Philadelphia 76ers. I don't know if it happens, though. But it'd be definitely a good signing for the Sixers, and they should definitely go after Van Fleet this summer. Use them your thoughts, and that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.